Oh, wow, Diane Simmons. You don't look anything like the ad. You better be huge. Be careful next time you're at confession, telling the priest about cheating on your wife with that Filipino drag queen. Well, at least you're in no danger, Diane, since you only visit church to leave your self-delivered, unwashed, half-dead newborns on the back step. Meanwhile, here at home, Quahog remains in the sweltering grip of a freak heat wave. Uh, I don't think you should use the word freak, Diane. Some people might find it offensive. Finish your oatmeal, son. Why bother? I'm just a freak! A freak! We're all a little different, Diane, each one of us. Good point, Tom. We're certainly feeling the effects of this heat wave even here in our studio. <laughs> Freak! So stay inside and stay cool. this broadcast to bring you a breaking news story. We apologize to Joan of Arcadia's sanctimonious, fear-based, and probably overweight viewers. Mm. So what do you think, Diane? Can mm. I cook or what? I'm mm, delicious, Tom. I guess we should be eating her with chopsticks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. They're eating Asian reporter Trisha Takanoa. That's crazy. They're just going to be hungry again in an hour. Well, it's an exciting day for all here at the Renaissance Fair jousting meet, wouldn't you say, Tom? Diane, I'd say it was a perfect day if you weren't reminding us all of our grandmother's cleavage. Oh, were you playing Lady Tiang? Mm-hmm. I was supposed to be Anna. Oh. Well, they did an all-you-people version of Hello, Dolly that was very successful. Today, we'll see some of Quahog's finest athletes struggle valiantly against God's twisted designs. You'll cheer, you'll cry, you might even get a cheap laugh or two. I know I will, Tom. In fact, there's the distinct possibility that by the end of the day, we'll all be going to hell. I'll see you there, Diane. The plane is safely landed in Cuba, and all Americans aboard are on their way home with the exception of one couple, a fat man who is inexplicably married to an attractive redhead. Here's an artist's rendering of what they might look like. Coming up in this half hour, flies on your face. How many is too many? Sounds like there's a pattern developing, Tom. Oh, a pattern developing. Well, Diane, I guess you've learned a lot from staring lifelessly at TV reruns of CSI over the thrusting shoulders of whatever drifter you drag into your bedroom on whatever night CSI is on. Thursdays, Tom. Our top story tonight, the rules of death no longer apply. That's right, Tom. Our own Asian reporter, Trisha Takanawa, filed this report all by herself. Ah, 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 what have I done? <laughs> Fascinating story, Tom. It sure is, Diane. And since the laws of death no longer apply, I can do this. That's right, Tom. <laughs> and now it's time for sports. Because of an accident today at the Quahog Cable Company, all television transmission will be out for an undetermined amount of time. Of course, no one can see this news program, so it doesn't really matter what we say. <laughs> I'm the Lord Jesus Christ. I think I'll go get drunk and beat up some midgets. How about you, Diane? Well, Tom, I just plain don't like black people. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, we're still on in Boston? Channel 5 has just received this message from the electric company. Hey, you guys! Any moment now, the Earth will be sucked into the gaping maw of the black hole. Three, two, one. April Fool's! What? You gotta be kidding me. Yes, April Fools. We at Channel 5 News concocted the whole black hole story as part of our commitment to being festive around the holidays. And with only 87 suicides and widespread looting, we think this was a pretty successful practical joke. Well, Diane, that last report was so good, I think you deserve a spanking. Oh, Tom, I don't think your wife would appreciate that. Diane, that frigid old cow lives in Quahog. She can't hear a word I'm saying. Actually, we're back on the air in Quahog. And reports indicate she has also consumed a record amount of semen. In other news, after several grueling days of frightening uncertainty, I finally get my period. Well, Diane, I'm sure you and your brother must be devastated by the loss of the two-headed offspring that might have been. Tom has dared me to do the news topless. I've got the goods, but if I got the guts, find out at 11. Quahog is infested with loud, hairy creatures also known as New Yorkers. You two are gonna have so much fun! <laughs> Don't act any cheerier, Diane. You'll give us all diabetes. Bite me, Tom. James Woods promised to introduce me to Dan Rather. But instead, he introduced me to Danny Bonaducci. 
tell you, that guy looks like a dog turning 30. Both of the pilots were killed, but fortunately for the other passengers, actress Karen Black, star of such films as Nashville and Five Easy Pieces, was on board. Our hats are off to Miss Black for proving once again that given the opportunity, actresses over 50 can land large aircraft. <laughs> Karen Black, what an obscure reference. Diane, didn't your first husband blow his brains out? Oh, God! <laughs> hey, that means you'll get to ride in the Action 5 News Chopper. I'm so jealous. Better put in for some new interns. You're the killer! Very clever, Lois. You shouldn't have stopped to say hi to me. You would have lived longer. God, why do I ever try to be friends with other women? Well, it's a shame that you have to die, Lois, but look on the bright side. You'll be a story on the 6 o'clock news. You know, unless a local cat does something funny. Diane, please! Please don't do this! I won't tell anybody, I swear to God! That's right. You won't. Goodbye, Lois. Anybody's gonna take that bitch down, it's gonna be me. What the hell? Am I doing a Madea? Oh lord, this time I'm gonna need a chainsaw. Oh no! Oh yeah! Ho ho! It's funny cause different voices are coming out of different mouths! Ha ha!